So my initial plan today was to do a review on the, my initial plan yesterday was to do a review on the Beauty Creations Olivia palette and then today I was planning on doing a review on this palette. I'm sorry, I keep looking outside my window. A lot of things going on, but so today I was going to do a review on this palette, but like. I don't want to be a negative Nancy. I don't want to be a dick. I don't want to be the party pooper because I've seen that so many people were really, really excited about this video and about this video, <clears throat> about this palette. A lot of people were planning on buying it, I seen. And honestly, I didn't want to make this video because I feel like I'm being really, really negative. I tried yesterday twice to work with this palette and then I tried today again. I got this after like 30 minutes and the other i just couldn't get for shit like i just really gave up it's i just really couldn't i thought it was me at first um yesterday. so yesterday i started filming the video right and none of the colors were working for me none of them so i really thought it was just me and i was like okay i'm just gonna you know i'm just maybe today i'm just stressed out i just don't feel made good you know we all have those days But today I sat down and I started doing my makeup again and just these eyeshadows are not the best quality. I wasn't even going to do the swatches because I feel like they're not worth my time. Like, it's just, it does not look, like, like, what you put on your hand will never look the same as what you put on your eyes. And because you're using a brush and you're not using your finger, your eyelid is different than your eyelid. Okay, so let's start with the palette. First of all, <clears throat> right off the bat, I kind of realized that these three were really similar. That those green ones, I don't know if you guys know, like, okay, so these right here. All those three green ones, I realized that they were really similar, and honestly, they're exactly the same. It's the same color. One kind of looks like they put a little bit shimmer in it, and one looks darker, and the other one looks a little bit lighter, but they're exact same. Let me show you guys the three different eyeshadows you guys are buying. So, let me get my little cute arm out. These are the little three green ones. What, Mr. Honeys? <laughs> okay, so I was, <laughs> so like I was showing you guys, these are the three green ones. Honestly, I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but I could tell from here that they're the exact same. I tried them on my lid. Don't think I didn't. I tried them. They're the exact same. I really, I'm honestly kind of sad because this was $40 for both of them. And I feel like, come on, $40, like, here, let me give you guys a good example. These are $20. They're not by a high-end brand, and they work so much better than these do. Like, yes, they don't come with that many colors, but I'd rather get quality over quantity. Like, come on, like. <clears throat> so now I'm going to get on with the marks, pretty much. Like I said, those three green ones are exact same. Um, all the shimmery ones, like, I don't even give a fuck, I'm just going to bend this thing. Okay. All the shimmery shades are so beautiful. Like, I, that I have nothing to complain about. They're super buttery smooth. They're really good to blend out. You can pack them on. They're not the most pigmented, but you can surely pack them on. But the, all the mattes, I was not a big fan of. Um, all these shades right here. All those like brown looking shades. That one right there, that one right there, that one right there. Most of those ones you blend them out. Like this right here is like six different eyeshadows. And they look like the exact same. They really have no pigment at all. And look at the fallout. It has so much fallout. Yesterday I did my makeup and um, right here was full of fallout. You make a huge mess. 
don't know if you guys can see, but oh, they're all very loose and very chalky. The white one is very chalky. I try to compare it to the one, but one that's in a palette by Juvia's Place, and China White that's in the Jeffree Star palette. And this one is so chalky. It's like really nasty almost. I feel like they really didn't try it all with these palettes. They just wanted to get something out. And honestly, I might do a review on this tomorrow, but I'm almost sure I'm not because I swatched a lot of the colors. They already suck. Um, I tried that blue one yesterday. You cannot see it for shit. I my I had a base and everything, a white base, and you could none of the color has any show up. It looks pretty much like chalk. <laughs> it's really powdery, and once you blend it out, you can barely even see the color on your lid. Many of the colors that they used here, they also used in the other palette, like almost all of them. A lot of these colors are completely similar, if not exactly the same. I'm going to take that one from right there. And take that one from right here. Exactly the same colors. In, like most of the colors in both of the palettes, you're going to find the same color in the other palette. They're exactly the same. If you were trying to get this palette because it has the blues and the purples, do not get them. They don't have any pigment. I'd rather... It's better if you guys get something like the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place. If you guys are looking for color, you guys should get something like that. But if you guys wanted to get this palette because of the purples and the blues, do, just do not get it. It really sucks. Like, it really does suck. And I'm really sad it sucks because I just wasted $40 on two palettes that suck ass that I'm never going to use. And... It's such a disappointment when companies do stuff like this because you got people like me waiting and waiting for these products to come out that you make, you put, okay, like, how do I say this? You get us excited, you show finger swatches, all of this that looks so beautiful, and then once we get that shit, it's like so, so bad, and I feel like that's not fair at all. You're stealing people off their money, <clears throat> and I don't know if that was their intention or not. Because I do have um, two more palettes from their website, and they're really, really good. I love them. I love the colors. They're super pigmented. So I really thought these were going to be the same. I like something with pigment. I do crazy-ass looks all the time. Like, I love going above and beyond. Something like this isn't going to do anything for me, especially if I can't pack it on, if all the colors look the same. Just... Do not spend your money on this, please. If I again, I'm probably going to be more careful with where I spend my money next time because I could have done something better with those $40. But I'm not too mad about it. I'm going to pop out all the shimmery shades and put it in a Z palette because the shimmery shades are really, really pretty. Do I think this was worth it? No. Do I think this one's worth it? No. Would I buy them? Would I tell you guys to buy them? No. This video probably sounds really, really negative and I look like the shittiest person on earth. But trust me, I'm saving you guys money. Don't waste your money on this. This is 